So you're gonna go early springtime jerkbait fishing. You've got a lot of choices right here. I'm gonna break down for you which ones you wanna choose, where, when, and why. So the Mega Bass Vision 110, you know, it's the granddaddy of all jerk baits, the most popular, arguably, and for good reason. There's so many different instances and situations that this bait is so successful from the action, from the finish, from the depth that it achieves, from the castability. It's a great bait. If you had to choose one, it's gonna be the bait that you're gonna to wanna to choose because it works from all aspects. But you know, in that pre-spawn, spawn, late winter, it really starts to shine. You know, the places that I'm gonna throw this bait, it's gonna be like areas that, that I believe, a, you know, a group of fish are setting up out off extended points, you know, and maybe you got a rock pile or a brush pile out off that point, out off the end of a dock, out off the end of a lay down. A place where I, I know where I'm gonna get that bite and I can jerk that bait down and then let it sit. That's gonna be a big key, letting that bait sit. As far as suspending, rising, sinking, that's one of those things you gotta kinda figure out. You know, I, I think a lot of times in that colder water when the shad really start dying, you know, I may want my bait to actually slow sink a little bit. And the great thing about the Vision 110, it's a nose down uh, attitude. It's very easy to make that bait do that. But then there's days that you want that bait dead horizontal, you know, dead suspending. And, and it may be a day when I'm throwing over the top of a brush pile, I don't need it sinking because it's gonna get snagged up. So the Vision 110 is designed to suspend, but you know, that's gonna vary depending on your water temperature. The water temperature has different densities. The colder it is, the more that bait's gonna sink. The warmer that water is, the more that bait's gonna rise. So, you know, you can adjust that to your water temperature by simple things, maybe a bigger split ring, maybe adding a little bit of a, a lead tape or lead wire around the front hook. Those minor adjustments like that can be critical to get that bait to do exactly what you want it to do. The Mega Bass Vision 110 Plus One is altogether another bait. You know, it's a bait that's meant to get a little bit deeper, thus the Plus One. You know, with the Plus One, a lot of people might think that's one foot. It's actually one meter. So you're getting a whole nother three feet on top of the Vision 110. But it's a bait that has a different action to it also. In my mind, it's a little softer. It, it's more of a bait when that water's really, really cold. I need a little bit softer action. I'm gonna let that bait sit. It's not gonna have that hard dart. It's gonna be more of a pull, stop, pull, stop type bait. So keep that in mind. If you're not getting fish to fully commit to your regular 110, tie on the plus one. Not only are you gonna gain a little depth, which is gonna help you in those situations when those fish won't fully commit, you know, it's definitely gonna be a softer action, but it's not just limited to that. There's gonna be instances where maybe the bite's fairly aggressive and you wanna cover water quicker. The Vision 110 plus one, it pulls through the water further than the 110, the regular 110, allowing me to cover water much quicker at, at a rapid pace, which can be really important if I'm working the bait really erratic. Let's say that water temperature's climbed on up, you know, mid 50s where, where you don't have to let that thing pause and I can cover water quicker, faster. Those are all key components for me, you know, out there competing on the tournament trail. I love this bait, the Vision 110 Magnum. This is, this is a great bait in what it does. It, it, again, it has a variance of the other two baits, the 110 Plus One and the 110, that's, that in my mind is different. It, it's, it's an upsized Vision 110, thus being the Magnum. It's gonna be a bait when I believe those fish are feeding on bigger shad, you know, bigger gizzard shad, bigger threadfin shad. Maybe it's a bait that I'm gonna throw in darker water where I need more bait presence for those fish to pick up with their lateral lines. There's so many times that, you know, I'm out there competing on the tournament trail. I need to cull those fish just by my bait. And it's a bait that I can do that with getting a bigger bite. Or maybe I need to throw something different than my competitors are throwing. And with a bigger profile, that does it just for me right there. Another great thing that I love about the, the Magnum, it has bigger hooks. You know, when you're around bigger fish, I can really pull on fish and uh, have a better opportunity to land them. And then also is the whole bait presence in the water. You know, the Vision 110 being such a smaller bait, the slightest, you know, rod jerk's gonna really make that thing dart. This being a bigger bait, it's not gonna have as big a dart, but could be good in an instance where maybe that water's colder. You want something just a little bit more subtle. You can make it, you know, really dark. You're just gonna have to jerk it a little bit harder than you would say the Vision 110. But, you know, I've had experience where 
my Vision 110 is getting a little too deep. This bait right here is not going to get as deep as the Vision 110, so I can keep it up above a grass bed or I can keep it up above the bank and, and not be hitting the bottom. So another important you know, thing for me in this bait is that it hits another water column using the same line size. And this jewel, the 110 Junior, you know, you'll notice right off the bat, it's a much slender, smaller profile. There's so many times they're so finicky, they're feeding on a smaller bait fish that I need a smaller bait. And the problem with some other manufacturers, when you get to that smaller bait, that smaller profile, they got two hooks. Look at this one, it's got three, three really good quality hooks. So I'm gonna hook more bass, gonna have better, a lot better per hooking percentage over any other uh, competitor out there. Another great thing about this bait, it's so easy to work. You know, my, my son floating down the river can catch fish on this thing with the slightest twitches because it's got that smaller profile. It doesn't take anything to make this thing dart side to side. It's got a great action, just like its big brother, the 110, but it's a must have too, because there's gonna be a day out there when we got bright bluebird day and you know, everything's dead calm. You've been catching them on the 110 or the 110 plus one. All of a sudden tournament day rolls around and you can't get a bite on it. This is the bait that you're gonna to go to because it's gonna be a smaller profile. You can still trick those fish, you know, being a smaller bait on those calm, tougher days, high pressure days, this is the bait that you need to have tied on.